YouTube, so it's coloring day. Um, I'm just going to go over what I did to the sub mix here. So, I find a nice color. I like to make crayons for Christmas with a chainsaw man coloring book. She's got a sense of humor. So, anyways, as you know, on the sub mix, I put a 32 millimeter uh, cylinder and piston for a 32 millimeter uh, saw, stroke saw, onto the 34 millimeter saw. So, obviously, the piston was hitting, so I had to machine it down. So the pistons on, let's see. So the pistons on these clones, they're not, they've got quite the dome to them. Obviously, two rings, blah blah blah, whatever. So it was obviously hitting. So I machined the piston down, so it's shaped as a flat spot, and then domes, and then down, right? So. After I did that, I put it back together with no base gasket, and it was something in here was tapping. This section was more of a sharper corner, so I'll just kind of do that. So something was tapping, so I put a base gasket, which is 25 thou, and everything was fine. So the combustion chambers on these submixes are kind of like that. Let's put the. So, anyways, put it back together. Uh, whatever. Um, Indy Woods, Chris Indy Woods said, oh, I should check the squish, and I did. So I put some cop, uh, solder in there, and um, here I had 22 thou. Right on the shoulder, it was getting really close, and it was only 11 thou, which isn't the greatest, because obviously when the piston comes up, the squish is supposed to push the mixture up here, right? And cause turbulence, and boom. The saw ran fine. Um, but it seemed like it was lacking something. So what I did today, so he's drawing through the camera. So this is the piston. Well, that's the raised part of the piston. That's the outside of the piston. So this lip was 11 thou clearance. So what I did with a Dremel is I made some channels. I made six of them. Spaced them as evenly as I could all kind of into the same direction so my theory behind that i like I said i don't know what the hell i'm doing there's better porters but but because there's such close clearance that was a bottleneck but now with these channels i'm hoping when the squish comes up into the squish band and is pushing all this out it's still going to go over here but most of it should go up through these channels and hopefully cause kind of a swirl up in here and more turbulence so you get better mixture and then boom so like before I did that the saw was at 222 psi I did that and dropped it down to 210 psi that's after running and letting it cool down so it's, it's a fair comparison both cold compression tests after the assembly lube's burnt off but it's still not broken in. it's only had tank gas so I'm sure that's still gonna go probably back up to around that 222 ones it's broken in um, but I'm hoping that works in my brain these little channels I made will, like I said, help swirl and help that mixture come out of the squish band and up into here and, you know, in theory. But as far as that, I did some porting, so I widened the exhaust port. I'm still running 94 on the exhaust. Uh, transfers are 114, although the primary side closer to the intake port, I kind of raised it a bit, so it's got about like 19, not much. And then the intake was at 78 and I increased it to 80 for 160 duration, which is probably a little better. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, I took that out of the skirt. Uh, Josh uh, from JK Saw Shops uh, suggested taking it out of the skirt because it lightens the piston up too. But anyways, so that's what I did to the submix. And now I can go on, take my crayons, and go do my coloring book. Hope everyone's having a great week. Take her easy. Bye.